I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. The third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Hey friends, Miss Colleen here with my right hand toucan pickles. But Colleen, I'm sitting on your left. You are on my left pickles, but you're still my right hand toucan. But I'm sitting on your left. How can I be your right hand toucan? Being my right hand toucan means that you're a big helper and that you're special. You help me tell our friends about Jesus every week. Oh, well, I do help with that, but I am sitting on your left side. Friends, we are learning about the Apostles' Creed, and the section of the Creed we're learning about this week is Jesus ascended to heaven and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Let's listen for a line about Jesus being in heaven and seated at the right hand of God in our worship song. Friends, let's stand up to worship God. The 
the communion of the saints. The forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. This is what I believe. Friends, did you hear the line about how Jesus ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty? What does ascended mean? Ascended means to go up. Jesus went up to heaven. Friends, do you think you could use your hands with me to show that Jesus went up to heaven? Let's try it together. Jesus went up to heaven. Let's read a verse from our Bible, from the book of Acts, that tells us what happened. And remember, the Bible is God's words written to us so we can know God and what he cares about. Our verse is in Acts chapter 1. Verses 9 through 11. Thanks, Pickles. After Jesus said this, he was taken up to heaven. The apostles watched until a cloud hid him from their sight. While he was going up, they kept on looking at the sky. Suddenly, two men dressed in white clothing stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven. Whoa! So Jesus' disciples actually saw him go to heaven? That's amazing! I know, it really is. And you know why that's so important? Hmm, that seems important because Jesus is back in heaven with God. So does that mean he's still in charge of everything? Yes! Remember that everything was made by Jesus and for Jesus, and Jesus is in charge of everything. I think this is a good time to pause and think about what all of that means. Good idea. Friends, let's take a drawing break. Hi friends. It's Miss Sari here. I can't wait to draw with you today about what we've been learning so far. So today in the Apostles' Creed, we learned that he, that's Jesus, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. We're going to just do the drawing today and I would love for you guys to color at home or if you have time before getting picked up. So we'll start with some rectangles. So I'm gonna draw kind of a big rectangle to the side over here. Make sure you leave some space. We're gonna draw a smaller rectangle, just a little smaller um, on this side with a good gap between the two. Same height, there we go. Okay, 
So we're gonna draw the legs of the thrones. And this is kind of like we're looking at the throne straight on, so it might um, look a little different than if you're drawing it from the side. But we're gonna draw some rectangles on the sides. Your rectangles don't have to be perfect. Mine definitely aren't perfect. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna draw the seat of the chairs. So um, we're gonna go up a little bit from our line, the bottom, and draw another line going across, just like that. Now for the armrest of the chairs, we're gonna draw another rectangle, so many rectangles today, here above each leg, just like that. So thrones sometimes will have like posts along the side to make them um, have some detail and look a little fancy. So we're gonna draw that. So some really long and skinny rectangles that go just a little above the top and go down. That will do it to both of them. All right, almost done. Okay, we're going to add some decoration because thrones can be pretty fancy or elaborate um, because they're for people in places of power. And um, what we're showing here is that God, uh, God the Father and Jesus the Son are in places of power. So we're gonna draw a line across towards the top just to give us a space to do some decoration. So, for the, the throne that's a little taller, we're gonna do some circles. So a little circle and a big circle and a little circle. If you wanna do different shapes, go for it. There's no certain reason we have to use a circle. <laughs> and so for this side, we'll do kind of the same thing. We'll do like little circles. In the middle, we'll draw a triangle. If you wanna do a star or a heart or something different, go for it. All right, so we have our two thrones. Now over this one, we're going to draw a crown for Jesus. So if you remember, we did a crown a few weeks ago. So you'll draw a rectangle with the top left open. Instead of a straight line across the top, we're gonna make a zigzaggy line. So just like that. All right, so there are our thrones showing that uh, Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Okay, make sure you color it at home. Let's get back to the message. Before the break, we learned that after Jesus rose from the dead, he went up to heaven and now he's with God. Back to the message. The Apostles' Creed says Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Oh, I almost forgot. Great memory, Pickles. Let's read about this from the Bible. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3 tells us, Thanks, Pickles. The sun is the shining brightness of God's glory. He is the exact likeness of God's being. He uses his powerful word, to hold all things together. He provided the way for people to be made pure from sin. Then he sat down at the right hand of the king, the majesty in heaven. Do you think Jesus is really sitting down in heaven next to God's right hand? Well, God isn't a human, so I don't think he has hands. Sometimes the Bible uses words we know to help us understand things about God. Wait a minute! When we started today, you said I was your right hand toucan. And that means that I'm helpful and important. Does that mean Jesus is important too? Yes, Jesus is very important. And so saying that Jesus is seated at God's right hand means that he is in a place of honor and celebration. 
Jesus made everything and Jesus is in charge of everything. And the Bible also tells us that Jesus is seated next to God and he's telling God and talking to God all about us. Jesus is talking to God about us? Whoa, how can he keep track of everyone? Well, remember that Jesus is God and he also came to earth as a person. And Jesus lived a perfect life. And so because he's perfect, he is the only one who can take away our sins. We are not perfect and sometimes we hurt God and people. You mean Jesus takes away all my sins? Even when I pick on my little sister? Wow, Jesus must love me so much. Oh, Pickles, he does. Jesus died on the cross for your sins and for all of our sins. And then God raised him from the dead. Do you guys think we could do our hand motions from earlier? Raised him from the dead. And now Jesus is in heaven with God. He's in charge of everything and he tells God about us. Remember, he is at the right hand of God. Wow. Wow is right. Jesus loves me so much that he came to earth with a human body. Then he died for my sins, even though he made everything and he's in charge of everything. I want to love him and celebrate him too. Oh, Pickles, me too. And that reminds me of our memory verse. Friends, let's stand up and pop those bubbles to uncover our verse. First Peter 3.15 But make sure that in your hearts you honor Christ as Lord. Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. Be ready to give the reason for it, but do it gently and with respect. Friends, repeat after me with our hand motions. But make sure in your hearts you honor Christ as Lord. Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. Be ready to give the reason for it, but do it gently and with respect. Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to die for our sins on the cross even though he made everything and everything was made for him. How amazing Jesus is. He gave up his special place next to God to be with us so that we could be with God. And now Jesus is back in heaven with God again. Our takeaway this week is, I believe Jesus is in heaven with God right now. Thank you for joining us today, friends. And remember to tell your grown-ups what you learned about God today. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you sent Jesus to live a perfect life and to show us what you're like. And thank you that Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins, even though Jesus never did anything wrong. And thank you that you rose Jesus from the dead and that he is sitting next to you right now and he's talking to you about us. Thank you that you love us so, so much, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 
Bye bye friends. Bye friends. See you next time.